What's up? How are you? It is Self Love Day 16, and the topic of today is PMS. <laughs> to be honest, I can't even really believe that I'm talking about this in a live stream that is going to later be posted, but I figure I might as well broach the subject because the truth of the matter is that PMS exists, and let's face it, ladies, we're not really fooling anyone. When we have it, when we feel it, people know. It's kind of obvious. So I totally want to broach the subject because I'm in bed. <laughs> because pretty much what ends up happening for me, or I'll just tell you pretty much what happened today. So it's my self-love, day 16, and um, you know, I feel good. I feel good about life, and I feel good about what's happening. And I woke up feeling great. Like I woke up to the sunrise and it was beautiful and I was just ready uh, to tackle the day. And then I started to get some symptoms of PMS. I started to feel really, really, really tired. And the food I wanted to eat and stuff like that is totally food that I don't normally eat. I mean, I, lately for this time, these past couple of days, it's been like, Oh man, carbs and sweet breads and sodium and just what is happening. So, you know, a lot of times for me, what has been going on in the past is that I don't like feeling this way. I don't like, you know, and mind you, this is the pre-game show that a lot of women experience, that I experience. So nothing's physically happening yet, but soon it will be, and it's this pre-game show of symptoms that occur. And so the energy around my time of the month or whatever has always been kind of negative in the past, like, ugh, what a, what drama, oh brother, like, that's dumb or lame or not fun or whatever. And you know what dawned on me? I mean, let's face it. I don't know how many ladies are actually watching right now out of the people that are tuned in. But let's face it, girls. Look, if it comes, it's like, but if it doesn't come, it's like, oh my God. So how about... You know, what came to me is how about just embracing the fact that this is part of the magnificence that is being a woman. And here's where I'm going with this. I love the fact that my body is healthy. I love the fact that my body is smart and knows what to do and that my systems are all working, my organs are all doing what they have to do. I love that I'm healthy and well. I love that my body is doing its natural thing and that everything is working fantastically. I love that. And so it dawned on me that, you know, the fact that this is happening is my body in, it, in working order, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I want to be grateful for that instead of cursing something that is a big part of my identity. I'm a woman. This is something that's going to happen. It's a part of my natural life, and my natural expression. It's what gives me, you know, my sexuality, my ability to make babies, my ability to, you know, there's a lot of goodness that comes from this kind of thing. So I decided to, today anyway, when the symptoms were present as far as fatigue and like really wanting these different foods, what I decided to do is just roll with it. You know what I'm saying? Like just be gentle and loving with myself and just let myself nap and just, you know, like I just ate in and out for dinner and it was freaking awesome and it's all good. And for lunch, I had... Um, shoot, what did I have? All I know is that after lunch I had like a Mexican sweetbread for dessert with tea and, you know, I've been eating kind of crazy. This morning I had pancakes for breakfast. It's like, look, what I realize is that 
I embrace my femininity fully. I embrace my time of the month fully. I embrace if PMS shows up, it's just my body doing its thing and making things happen. And you know what? It's okay. I can cater to myself. I can love myself. I can accept myself. You know, even this topic, talking, talking about it, it kind of was like, I can't believe I'm going to talk about this. But the reason why I did this self-love journey is to be honest and to really show up for what comes up for me because I care about I care about my personal growth and I care about my freedom and I care about living my best life now. And so for me, this self-love challenge means when something comes up, I'm really going to bring it to light and share it with you guys. And I'm really going to open myself for up for comments and suggestions and questions and people sharing and, you know, weighing in and stuff. And so even though it might not be the coolest thing to talk about, I think it is cool for every woman out there to embrace the fact that you are beautiful and you are sexy and you are smart and you are strong and the fact that you can create a human body inside of you and and nurture it and love it and and be the incubator for life it is magnificent and whether you choose to use your body for that purpose or not the fact that you have that capability is awesome and so i will not be shy about having pms and for the men out there i'm sorry i'm sorry on behalf of all of us look we yeah i'll speak for myself i get a little crazy because I don't necessarily feel my best. I'm not necessarily myself. Like today, I was kind of in a daze and I was kind of tired and I took a nap and, you know, and there might be days where I'm emotional and there might be days where I snap for no reason. And I'm sure my husband would be more than willing to share stories about when I've been out of my head because of this particular issue. And you know what? I'm sorry. You're not crazy. It's happening. And women, we're not hiding anything. It's happening. Um, but you know what? It's okay. Because it's a part of life. And life is beautiful. And uh, so, yeah. Today what I did is I recognized what was happening, which was awesome. And for you women out there, if you feel unsure... One thing that has helped me a lot is called, it's an app called IP, <laughs> the letter I, the letter P, and uh, it's a tracker and it helps you to see what's going on and identify what's going on because in the past I would just be like, why do I feel weird? What's going on? And so that's helpful. And uh, so I recognized what was happening. I allowed myself to just be in the moment and I didn't berate myself or judge myself, or feel bad, or be irritated at nature running its course. I am so happy to be a woman, I'm so happy to be alive, and I'm so grateful for my health that this is, this is awesome. So, yes, to the women, be empowered, know you're loved, know you're magnificent, and know that your time is just your time. And it's a beautiful thing. It's, it's nature. It's fantastic. It's what we bring to the table. And men, so sorry. So sorry. I know. I know. And uh, you're not crazy. And if you could have some compassion or some understanding, then that would be awesome. And if you can't, because we really are being annoying, then go somewhere safe <laughs> until, it, until it's over. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. It is self-love day 16. And, um, yeah. So, lots of love, light, and laughter to you. Know that you are amazing because you are. Thank you for being with me on this journey. And yeah, connect, man. If you have anything to say, um, 
If you have any comments, questions, concerns, anything like that, feel free to communicate with me. I am tmarie.com, T-E-E-M-A-R-E-E-D-O-T-C-O-M. And that's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, here on Periscope. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I see you and I appreciate you. So that's it. Have an awesome night and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.